All right, my little one. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, there you go. Who's a happy hunter Largo, huh? Who's a happy honey, honey hunter Largo? Man, that is a little bit happy honey hunter Largo of a tongue twister. But all right, this is the last one, guys. We are going to be grabbing this honey gourd or honey Largo. Oh my gosh. Honey hunter Largo. There we go. What a tongue twister. Bye. Have fun. And releasing it to the slime sea. So hopefully it can go on to many, many journeys and adventures elsewhere in the world. And I just was jumped on, like, I just had I was just jumped on by a honey tabby Largo oh my goodness all right but we are cleaning up this little spot I have to go through multiple times to make sure that we haven't left behind any invisible hunters and we are going to be building honey mince royal castle today you guys I am so excited this is gonna be awesome especially now that I realized we could probably decorate his castle with some of those really awesome buzz wax and the little honeycombs what else do we have that we could whoops those are achievements let's crack open the slime pedia and look over our resources all of the plants, unfortunately, will go bad over time, and Honey Mitten would eat all of the chickadoos and all of the hen hens that we would stick in there. I do want to get my hands on some painted hens. Oh, that's going to be awesome. But, uh, what? I'm missing something. Hmm. I bet this is a new thing to drill up from the resources over in the glass desert. That's going to be fun to dig around with. But we could leave the buzzwax, the wild honey, the hexacombs, and even some of the royal jellies tucked right here inside of Honeyman's little castle. That is what we are going to be calling this corral. This is Honeyman's castle and we're going to move him in here so that he'll be nice and safe for when we bring over some dangle slimes in order to experiment on our main ranch because I do not want Honeyman to end up being uh, accidentally turned into a tar while we have the tangle slimes over there and we're running experiments with different types of largos and the like. All right, come on guys. Oh my goodness. You guys, how did I get this pogo fruit in here? You can eat it. I'm trying to gather up your quartz. Your plorts even. Oh my gosh. I've been playing niche so much too that I just keep calling all of the plorts ports. It's kind of hilarious. But we're going to gather these up really quickly from our apiary, which is this area, as you guys know. And I should probably actually put down some more of our actual like apiary machines here, which I tend to tuck over like this is a good spot right over here. Let's see. Do I have... Whoops. Let's see. Do I have an apiary machine on me? No, I just have the advanced pumps. Okay, well, we'll come back over here with some of the apiaries in a little bit. And we'll snag what we can. Looks like we've had some of the honey slimes adventuring over to this edge. I'll have to go over there and check out what's hiding there in a little bit. Uh-huh. Plenty of the tabby plorts. Hey, I guess that's one way I could like... Mm, well, I was thinking I could pick them up from around here and just throw them in there to collect them, but that'd be kind of silly <laughs> considering if I pick them up, I'm taking them back to sell. But all right. So yes, guys, today is the day where we are moving Honey Mint from his free range space. Don't worry. We will always leave his two trees. Honeyman. Oh, thank goodness. He's just on a slime stage. My heart like skipped a beat for just a second. But we are going to be moving him from his free range here on the main part of our ranch over to the apiary once more. The moss blanket apiary, which is what we call it since we have so many honey tabby largos over there. And we're going to do that so that he can hold court with some of the other honey tabby largos. And so I can turn one of the trees that are over there into a tangle slime holding facility so that we can play with those tangle slimes. I'm really excited about that. All right, and that way I'll keep them safe. Honeyman, don't be alarmed. Your stage and everything else will still be here when you are ready, but it is indeed time to move you, my wonderful friend, my precious, precious Honeyman, into a safe containment facility. It just, Honeyman just ate a hen hen on the run. <laughs> that is hilarious. I can't believe Honeyman just like leaned over while I'm carrying him and ate a hen hen. <gasps> Honeyman, I love you too. He's here, guys. Three cheers for Honeyman. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. And now all of the little slimes can behold their king has returned to them. And we will pick out some of the slimes and give them some of the different decoration pieces we can so that he can have a royal court very soon because I don't want Honeyman to feel lonely. All right, let's go see what kind of decor pieces we can smack onto some slimes. And we'll sell these plorts really quickly. And then I also need to take a break from... Wow, I don't know what I just jumped on, but that gave me a huge jump boost. I think I bounced on Honeyman's toys. <gasps> Honeyman's toys! You guys, we have to take Honeyman's toys. It is not right to keep them away from him. 
All right, let's throw all of the honey plorts in here. Thankfully, they're selling for pretty well. Throw all the tabby plorts in here. There we go. We're making some good money on the apiary lately, but not nearly as much as we could be making. All right, we're gonna take the big yarn ball and toss it into Honeymint's castle. I wonder, can I come over here? Will it just like, whoops, I just dropped it. All right, there you go, Honeymint. There's one yarn ball to get you started. And then we're gonna go and get Honeymint's little buzzy bee toys. I feel pretty good about this. I've always worried a little bit, even though I didn't think too hard on it, about Honeymint being here out in the open. But I figured he was happier being like a free range slime, but it's been a very, very, very long time since he has been a free range slime. So maybe he misses some of his slime subjects. I mean, they don't even know that he's been crowned king if I'm completely honest about it. And this will be good for him. Have to stick around with all your friends, Honeymint. There you go, and you can show off your little toys. All the slimes are like, I want the toys, I want the toys. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. There we go. And this will also let me work with the Tangle Slimes, who I am very excited to experiment with. Of course, getting myself all the way back into the glass desert and back with some Tangle Slimes is going to be a headache. <laughs> An absolute and total headache. Oh, guys, nope, this is Honeymint's toy. All right, you guys, you guys can play with this toy in a little bit. You have to ask though. All right, is there anything else? Let's gather up some more of the plorts really quickly. And then we can see if we can also get a 7Z reward with all of the money that we're collecting. All right, there we go. Lots of birds with one stone. Let no one ever tell you that Slime Rancher doesn't have plenty to keep you busy because you're usually dashing from one spot to another. There we go. And I do need to jump over. Oh, they've got plenty of toys over here. You guys! Stop bothering Honeyman about the toys and play with your own toys. There you go. All right, that should make him happy. Hi, Bubby. Pardon me, pardon me. Have to gather up some of your, your plorts, please. All right, we'll come over, grab the last of these ones. Their trees are all growing fine. We yeah, have Slime Rancher always keeps me on my toes. There's plenty to do everywhere. And now I need to go check where we put in the drills to search for strange diamonds. And thank you guys so much. A lot of you guys, including some of our patrons, which is so exciting, have been reminding me that it is probably best if I'm looking for strange diamonds, since you can get strange diamonds anywhere in the world, to keep my drills maybe here on my property or like right outside of my property over there. And the reason being, if I put the drill bit down in the quarry, then we're probably going to pull up some of the indigonium. That was a beautiful chicken roll, by the way. Did you see that, Hen Hen? That was a glorious little, little cartwheel, A+, plus, A+. Plus. I'm sure she was showing off to some of her sisters for some reason. But in other areas of the world, where you put down the drills will give you different resources. Drills will pull up like the jellystone, the indigonium, slime fossils, echoes especially. A lot of people are telling me, Siri, don't put the drills down if you really want a strange diamond in the ancient ruins because it's gonna pull up echoes every time. We would love to work with echoes and I definitely need to go and snag that echo catcher from behind the ivy, which you guys have told me about a lot very soon but I want a strange diamond more than I want echoes right now so we're going to go searching for a strange diamond soon today was Honeymint's like moving day and we've already accomplished that so we'll probably we'll probably go look for strange diamond in just a second there we go gonna sell some of these and then I also wanted to let you guys know that I am so thrilled and tickled to pieces to see how many of you again especially some of our patrons who are super Super excited about doing Slime Rancher streams! And I definitely love Slime Rancher. I imagine we could probably keep playing it for ages and ages and ages. I mean, there's so many achievements we haven't even achieved yet. Okay, I say that as we scroll down a list of completely checked off achievements, but I'm, I'm sure there's something. Look, Karis, oh. Oh. Yeah, look, there's an achievement we haven't done. Incinerate an Elder Chicken. Well then. Maybe I don't want to achieve all of the achievements and live streams. Oh my gosh. All right, well, the hat trick. That would keep us busy. Obtaining three gold plorts from a single gold slime. And it seems gold slimes show up a lot more in the ancient ruins. I definitely hear them quite often down there. Uh, controlling the chaos, you know, see, see, there's some things we haven't done yet. There's definitely some things we haven't done yet. Um, 
So we probably could have a lot of fun working on that, like complete this Slimepedia in the live streams. And I, I really love it because we've been playing Slime Rancher for like, what, over a year now and probably will continue to do so. But uh, I wanted to remind you guys that that idea is so awesome and so cool. And I'm totally on top of it and think that we need to do some Slime Rancher streaming. If you guys want to show up and like just have some good times and maybe give me tips and advice on where some of the last of the treasure pods are and so on. But I won't be able to stream until I get home from Taiwan. Chips and I are still in Taiwan. I am looking out the window at a roof cat right now. So it'll be a little bit, so please have some patience. But it will happen. It will happen, my friends. All right, let's go over and see what our 7Z stuff is first, just because we're right here. Can I afford the next... Ooh, we can, you guys. We can get a nice slime trophy. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and sleep until morning because it was just a few hours. And let's try buying the very first slime trophy and going up to the Silver Storm level one rank. Dun, 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 dun! And our little apiary has bought this. So let's go see what Honey Mint has earned us and where the heck, I mean, where am I gonna find a statue? Like is it, <gasps> oh! That's perfect! Oh my gosh, it even has little lights. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I wish the little lights weren't there actually, but maybe that'll light it up at night. That's pretty cute. All right. So we have just gotten ourselves a slime statue. I love it. I think that it's perfect that it is over in what is usually Honey Mint's sort of spot kind of around here because Honey Mint's, uh, Honey Mint's royal apiary, uh, the, the apiary over in the moss blanket are who got this for us. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, I went too quick to even check like what the next level is. So let's take a peek. 20,000? You want 20,000 of my precious new bucks just so that we could maybe change the color on the, like, the outside of our, our place? Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to just go ahead and accept that that's what we'll work on at some point. All right, well, slime statue and moving Honeyment to the royal court done. Let's go ahead and see how things are going on our slime science corner of the world, where I'm pretty sure I need to feed like everybody. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, wait, we have some happy faces. All right, here, have some Q berries. I'll go ahead and toss in some freestyle Q berries. And then some more Q berries over here. There we go. And then you guys are doing okay. Do you have enough food? No, you don't. All right, here's some cute berries for you. And we'll chuck them in here. And then I have some mint mangoes. Are you guys full up? Okay, you're getting there. Oh dear. All right, gotta drain off the top of these pink plorts if I want to continue to actually benefit from having a whole bunch of slimes in my slime science area. All right, almost there and there we go. And then we'll drain off the top of the phosphor and throw these into our slime science research spot so that we can maybe use them to make new material. All right, and then mint mangoes, mint mangoes. Do I have, yep, got mint mangoes selected. Throw them in for our little pink phosphors. There you go, guys. Chuck them in here. I wonder what a pink phosphor Largo would be called. I definitely need to check that list that someone came up with, the stump people came up with, um, to see what they call the slime phosphors. But I'm kind of curious as what you guys, if you could give a name to the slimes that are here in our slime science area, what would it be? We have phosphor rock Largos, pink phosphor Largos, and then we've got these pink honey Largos. They kind of remind me of bubblegum, these guys. Maybe, I gotta think about it, but they do kind of remind me of bubblegum. All right, oh, and we have a science hen hen reminding me of our zoo crafting researchers, our assistants that we have down in our laboratory in the labyrinth, which is actually a labyrinth, that's also our lab, in zoo crafting. Gotta go visit those guys soon, gotta go visit those guys soon. All right, let's go ahead and throw these rock plorts, pink plorts and phosphor plorts in. We could sell them, but I wanna make some headway on some of the slime science that we've got. And then we'll see what kind of decor pieces we could possibly give Honeyman's Royal Court. Oh, and I need to go check the, the actual spot where I'm trying to drill up. In fact, let's go do that right now. Which area was it? I think it was over in this indigo quarry spot. Dun -dun, whoops, ah, I hate it when I do that. All right, hold still. There we go. Okay, ooh, what's this now? Hello, hello. Oh, hey now, Oka Oka. Don't mind if I do. All right, and what do we have over here, my little friends? 
All right, well, that's promising. Excellent, excellent. Not quite what we're going for. That's okay. I'll go ahead and just activate the whole lot of you. Oops, I just walked through some radioactive, like, activity. <laughs> just walked through the radiation, Siri. I see how it is. Oh my gosh, guys, look. <laughs> uh, I think someone raided the hen hen nest. Oh, oh dearie me. All right, none of this nonsense. Thank you very much. All right, took care of that. Yes, yeah, somebody raided the hen hen nest, all right. Oh my goodness. And thankfully this area tends to control the tar outbreaks on its own, which I can definitely appreciate. All right. And how about how about you calm down a little bit, my little friend? There we go. All right. So we have some indigonium and we've got the jelly stone. I should probably get more drills and put them near our home, actually. Lots and lots of indigonium, though. That's awful nifty. And I think we actually picked up, and I need to go back over to our science facility, but didn't we pick up a, like, level Mach 3 uh, treasure pod blueprint that's actually for, like, a better drill or something? Holy moly days! I am full up on honey. I should sell that because the honey sells for a lot right now. All right, let's see. Indigonium! tempted to keep this. Uh, let's see what we need to use for actual science right now. Let's see. The advanced... I could have sworn we got... Yeah, the master pump! The master pump! That's what I was thinking about. You need dervish plorts to make it, but man, very high chance of rare resources. I want to find where the, you know, master drill might be lurking. Oh, and apparently I have a whole bunch of advanced drills. Can I fabricate more? How many can you fabricate? Ah. Oh, I ran out of resources. I guess you can just fabricate as many as you want. Jeez, what was I doing not putting those drills down? Oh, I'm being I'm being ridiculously silly. All right, well, I kind of want to put the indigonium and the jelly stone into like the cave instead of to put it straight into the machine where I will never see it again. So let's see what I may need. We have clip-on fashion pod in order to make, uh, I think the dandy fashion pod actually would be really good in order to make like a royal court for uh, honey mint. And I feel like maybe the cute fashion pod. So let's try making that. Yeah, I wanna make the cute and the dandy and then we can just like randomly shoot a couple slimes in the apiary. And depending on how they look, then we will go ahead and smack them into our uh, <laughs> our little royal court. I wanna do that. That seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. I think I need to do it like this. Okay, so let's do the curious. And then, oh, I need pink plorts. Okay, all right, well, you know what? I like my idea of taking these and, oh, maybe I should leave the oka oka over here somewhere. Hmm, I should probably take some offerings into the cave after all, so I can make sure to feed some of the slimes in there. There we go. Shake anything else off the tree. There we go. I keep thinking I hear the tar noise by our slime science area and it makes me a little nervous, but uh, apparently it's okay. All right, how you guys doing? Seems like everybody's doing okay over there. How is her royal majesty? Doing pretty good. I'm gonna leave behind a bit of food for her. There we go. And you guys will eat veggies. So I need to bring them some veggies. I think I may have accidentally tried to feed them a whole bunch. I did try to feed them a whole bunch of fruit last time. <gasps> how embarrassing. All right, I'll have to bring them some proper food. And we have this pond. But like I said, I'm beginning to realize maybe it'd be more fun, even if it'd be a little challenging, to kind of allow Her Royal Majesty to collect a bunch of jelly stone and they can just play with it and roll around with it like that. And they have their very big rock, uh, which is like their, their version of a toy. And I can leave the slime fossils in there too, I guess, since they like rocks. And then the indigonium would probably make a pretty good toy for a whole bunch of our hunter crystals to play with because it reminds them of their uh, crystal ball. All right, well, I like that idea. I need to get some vegetables. Why do I have, I just realized I have nothing but fruit on all of my farms and no vegetables. That won't do. All right, let's grab the oka oka then. If the hen hen, hey hen hens, don't eat my oka oka. <laughs> For just a second, I thought they ate it. We're going to uh, remove crops. Yes, finally, we don't have to demolish the whole thing. Maybe it's always been like that and I just now noticed. All right, we can go ahead and give somebody the Q-berry. There you go, guys. All right, so let's refresh. I need to make, ah, need to grab there. Pink plorts. We can make a couple of the nice little decorative pieces to put on to Honeyman's royal court and give him some friends and then complete his royal court. We have indeed actually managed to go ahead and um, 
<laughs> got the very first of these statues as well, which I think is pretty fitting. It's like it's like a testament to Honeyman and his uh, his little group that he's got going over there. All right, we'll grab these. I don't think I need to put the phosphorplorix. We probably have a ton of phosphorplorix over in our slime science, so I'll check. But they're often pretty useful to have around. All right, couple more. One. Oops. Ah. Okay. Now we have a bit of a mess. Carefully put those back. There we go. I wonder how there should be an achievement for stacking plorts. Don't you think that'd be awesome? An achievement for stacking plorts. Oh, that would be so cool. All right. So let's see what we've got in here. How many of the phosphor plorts do we have? Only 96, actually. You know what? I'm okay with putting more in then. And we'll load up on pink plorts and then we will go and officially make the rest of Honeymint's royal court. And while we're out there, we will be able to put down the drills so that next time we'll be able to check for strange diamonds too. Hello, Assistant Tinhead. I appreciate your uh, cooperation. All right, we'll do the dandy fashion pod and we're gonna do the cute fashion pod. There we go. And then let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we put those little pieces onto some adorable slimes. And also sell these honey plorts so that we can make a little bit more money. <laughs> Which I love. I love the idea that our ranch became famous and got this slime statue because we have made our money on honey plorts. Alright, so it's not the best day to sell honey plorts, but I'm gonna go ahead and chuck them in here. There we go. And we're gonna upgrade our ranch pretty soon so that we can make a ton of money. So Honeyman's group basically will produce like a steady level of honey plorts all the time to make money from the moss blanket. And then over inside of the caves, we're going to have the mosaic slimes in the future so that Queen Rose Quartz and her quart of mosaic slimes will be able to make us a ton of money there. And then finally over here, we're going to have a beautiful garden of tangle slimes who are going to be able to give me tons and tons of those extremely valuable tangle plorts. Very excited to have those actually. All right, grab these really quickly. And then we will go and decorate a couple of the royal court. And while we're on this side, ooh, okay, gotta grab these two. No, it's always a pity when you see the fruit just fall apart under your fingers. I feel like I wasted it. All right, there's that and there's that. And we'll release this curious briar hen and jump this way. All right. And let's come on over and why not? Just right over here. Why can I not put down more drills? Where are my other drills then? Ah, oh, I forgot that I have that many drills. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out where the heck I put my other drills. I think I put them in the moss blanket. So we'll go and check the moss blanket next time. Fooey, fooey, I've got to get rid of those drills. I need to put them in a proper place. Oh, right, everybody's happy over here, yay! Let's climb up to the top of this little hill and we'll put down the new decorations. So we'll put down the cute fashion pod here and we will put down the dandy fashion pod here and then we can come over here, <laughs> collect up a few monocles and just chuck them at large and we'll see, did we get anybody? We have one little slime, look at him. Oh my goodness. He's got a little monocle on his face. Oh my gosh, get out of my way. I want to see him guys. And he's like starving to death. What's his problem? Oh my goodness. He's so cute. You guys, look at him. Here, eat this mint mango, sir. Oh, Honey Mint, hey. Honey Mint, look, you have your first royal advisor here in your royal court. Who know? Who knows what this royal advisor is? The, the girl, boy, neither. It doesn't matter. It's a slime and it's adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love him! I love him! Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I really, I think that, I think that, I kind of want to name him like Ferdinand or something like that. All right, here's some of the hair bows. And we'll go ahead. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, I got two! All right, so we got two of, oh my gosh. <gasps> ah, they're so cute! We got two of these slimes with the cute little hair bows. So let me see if I can grab them. And we'll take them over to be part of the new royal court. This is very exciting. All right, we'll put you right over there, my dear. And then where's the other one? How are you? Are you like the twin, the twin, probably, a set of twins and a new advisor for Honey Mint? All right, hold still for just a second so we can see what it looks like on your face. <laughs> hold still, my dear, oh my gosh. Who the heck? Oh, I think the new, the hen hens just popped up and they like were immediately consumed by all of my, my slimes. Would you hold still? I'm trying to get a good picture of you. Okay, we'll have to hope that was a good picture. All right, 
And then in you go. And you guys, here we go. Honeyman, look at how happy Honeyman looks. Honeyman looks super happy. Honeyman now has a little bevy of assistants and friends. We've got an advisor. We have two little bows on a couple slimes. And we'll go ahead and we'll just leave. Let me see if I can actually move them down. I kind of want to get one of the little uh, the little accessory pieces that we can just leave out. And if slimes happen to wander through them, then they can wander around with whatever the decoration is. Because that would be kind of adorable. Maybe we'll put it out in the world. Maybe we'll put it out in the wild. And, and like in the ancient ruins, we can just leave the decoration pieces out. And if the slimes happen to wander through and get the decorations on their head, so be it. That would be adorable. Then we could just like wander by and be like, oh, look at this one. He's wearing a crown. I like that idea. We'll let the wild slimes decorate themselves as they so wish. But now Honeymint's royal court has been officially put together and I feel pretty content about that. Very happy to see Honeymint with some friends. I thought I was going to be a lot more upset to see our free range Honeymint off of the main part of the family ranch. But actually I'm really happy to see him with, uh, see him with a group of his own, his own kind. Alright, there we go. We'll gather all these up really quickly. I love it when the trees go into harvest because suddenly it's just plorts, plorts, plorts everywhere. All right, well, I'm going to sell these guys and then, oh, dear, there's a whole bunch of plorts. I'm going to go ahead and sell these and then we will come back and we will have to work on looking for the strange diamond, putting down the new drills. And now that we have managed to get honey mint safely tucked away, we have managed to get the slime statue. We have managed to give our puddle slimes their duckies. We're really tackling a lot of the things that we've been meaning to do on the ranch for a long time very quickly. So I think it's time to start heading back off the ranch. I think we need to go and we need to be prepared to pop open one of those gordos, grab the slime key, and return back to our ranch with some tangle slime. Hmm. Not to mention find that super special, super secret, eh. Super secret strange diamonds somewhere out there in the world. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.